Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge. It is, let's see, it's early Tuesday morning. We're in the middle of a snowstorm, uh, snow day. Kids just went back to school yesterday after being out since October. And they have a snow day already. My grandson's so happy. <laughs> Joey, you haven't even been in school for a day. <laughs> so, whatever, so... But I have to go to work, and I told my husband, come pick me up, bring me to work, because my car's buried, and I hate driving in this, so I'll have a chauffeur to work. So anyway, I'm working on, this is a custom order file folder, so I just wanted to give Jennifer a peek. This has your um, envelopes on the top, and this folds up this way, that way, and then just a little peek of in here and just this, this i found this is my memoirs of jane my dis, uh a paper that i've hoarded so that's just all you get john is a little peek um dreams etc her blue fern design paper that she did and i bought it about a year ago and um i've hoarded that and then along with that, I found, it was called a Stamperia, it's old paper, and it's old, no, old lace, and it's this brown kit, oh my god, I forgot I bought this, so I hoarded that too, and then I seen Pearl, or then I just seen a video from Siobhan, Pearls and Buttons, and she was using it, and I'm thinking, I think I got that somewhere, <laughs> so yeah, it's, so now I'm starting to use it. So anyway, this is my new project I'm working on. So I'm working on Jen's. And then this is just going to be in my shop available eventually. This is a different type. I'm playing around. This is obviously the front. A lot of lace. Some of that old lace paper. Uh, Prima flower. And just some... Um, this kit is... I believe it's Romantic Letters on Etsy. Romantic Letters. And I'm just playing with it. Um, it's going to like open like this, open like that. And then I just started putting flips and flaps. And then I'll make a journal to go with it. So this is, when I was putting this together, I'm thinking of like a dressmaker's book. So she could put her notes in, in my mind. So, I thought I'd just put on the video and do some correcting because there will not be a live tonight because, well, we're having a snowstorm and we know how my internet likes to snow. And Maggie tends, she's having a snowstorm and she tends to lose power altogether because I know last night when she was on Patty, she, her lights were flickering. Okay, so that was not a good idea. Hmm. I need to modify that. See, I put that there because I thought it was pretty, but it's not practical because it's folding over. So we're going to have to modify that. One thing at a time. So, but we will do the cabinet cards. I have no fear. We'll get to them. Let's see. I'm just going to eyeball that. Actually, just so I can decide on how, and then I'll hinge it. I fold up my paper on the top. This is the way I just make, you know, paper notes. Okay, I got up until that line. There we go. So how's everyone doing? I'm really having fun with those um, tags from Ann Brook because I found myself the other night, I just took some needle and thread and just sat and tried to practice stitches because I really want to start stitching in some of my books. You know, nothing major, just a blanket stitch and a whip stitch. I'm learning my stitches. 
because I think that would just add a little more character. All right, so I'll do maybe, let's just do three, because you know this is going to bulk up, because it always does. Last night I had the kids over for dinner, and we sat in the dining room because everybody was here, and um, after dinner we are just sitting and talking, and Juliana eyes her journal that I made her that I keep in my china cabinet in the dining room. So she wanted to look at it. And it's the first one I made her that's all um, cloth and doily and stuff. And we filled it with pictures of her babies. Oh my God, she was so excited. Babies, more babies. <laughs> she was just, well, I guess it's time to make her another one. But she just was, it was like the first time she ever looked at it. <laughs> so time to make her a new journal. A big one, because she does like her babies and colors and textures. And let me just sew this up quick. There goes the snow plow for the eighth time. I just and then where I hinge it, I just hinge it there and it's already sewn together, so it'll just slip up. And it's like a messy hinge. But and we just put some tacky glue down. And then I will just get one of my Now, I'm just going to take a piece of paper of, I don't know I, where I ripped this from. This is this is quite a variety. This is uh, Tracy Foxes, Fabric Swatches. So we got quite a few different kits, or there will be a lot of kits in this book. And let's see, let's take a little of this. Let me just sew this. Sorry, guys. I didn't think I was going to sew so much. And then I'm going to take old paper, I think. I'm going to just ink it up. Where is it? Old paper which is a greenish color. It's a subtle green. I was just watching um, Tim Holtz's um, new launch for Flamingo, no, Kirsch, Kirsch Flamingo. It's like another pink. Oh, so I, yeah, I ordered it. I don't think it was pre-ordered. I think it's available now. It's really pretty because I, I love the pink and the brown and it's just what he was demonstrating. Pink browns, how to make it bold, how to make it real light. Very, very pretty. So now here it would, I'll glue it, but when I learn a little more slow stitch and I'll slow stitch it. And it just adds a little more to the book. And let's just do a little. Old paper. I think I'm not sure what kind of book I'm gonna make to go with this. Probably be a maybe a tall skinny one. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Let's see. I need like a pocket of some sort. Oh, here we go. We'll put one of these here. Because of the corsets throughout. And then we'll just make it come down. 
So let's let's ink this. Let's see what color we get. Mm. There's more brown, green. That's what I'm looking for. That sounds good, doesn't it? Now I just put some water on my mat and whatever it picks it up. And in my mind, it's just the color of, like, it fell in my um, covered wagon. And then it got run over in the mud. Okay. Then, where is my pink? I don't have pink, so we'll do... Barn drawer, if you use it real light when you can't find your paint because it may be downstairs. Let's see. Yeah, you can make that a little pink. Because you're just... Yeah. That'll work. So just giving it little highlights. And of course, the most important is putting um, your paper behind there. Let's see. This is just scrap paper. I just kind of see how it looks. Oh, yeah. Well, this is going to get. Wow, I just inked this. This is very light. Okay. So we're going to stay in this. Kind of, um, I don't want to say mellow colors, but <clears throat> yeah, you're neutral. Neutrals. That is my word. You know, it's funny. Yesterday I made, I had the kids yesterday, but they had to go to school, so I, I got them later. And then we had, um, I made, I told Maggie last night, well, actually I told the, the whole group there. I actually measured yesterday because I made artesian bread. Oh my god, it was so good. But you got to be very careful measuring, obviously. And then I made um, it was I picked up. I wanted to make scones, and um, I just put in my phone the best scones, and <laughs> that's what came up the best scones. <laughs> and uh, I made raspberry white chocolate. I had frozen raspberries and white chocolate chips, so that's what. We'll just put this. We'll put the hinge here, and then I'll get a nice rusty paper clip. And I might put something on the back, so I'm not worried about inking it right now. I might just put something that comes down. Yeah, and then I got a nice, nice paper clip. From, I was too lazy to do them myself, so I got them from Michelle. <laughs> Michelle with one L. Thank you very much. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, darn. Hmm. I'm going to have to think on that one. Because I don't want it on my front. Hmm. We'll come up with something. Probably... Let's see. I could do a tuck there or some, something. Oh, I know what I could do. I can do... Oh, man, where is it? Oh, just a little piece. A good old... This actually um, strengthens it. 
and then I can put my paper clip for that. So I'll move this out of the way. Let's ink this up really good because I love um, really inked up. This is what I like to do with my cardboard. Ink it up good. I might even get it wet here. Grungy it up. It almost looks burnt. I love it. I'm gonna have to watch my time here. And then just a little. Just a little. Ooh, yeah. A little pink. Well, this is barn door. But if you put it light enough, you can get your pink hue there. Something like that. Isn't that pretty? For a piece of cardboard, it's pretty. Alrighty, guys. I think that's it for now because my time is getting down there. So I will, um, I'll, I'll come back. See you in a bit. Bye.